Hi everyone, it's Gloria Kramer from Oakville, Canada, and it's Monday, January 17th, which is also my birthday. So this is card number three for our Valentine uh, Love is in the Air card class. Uh, if you're first time joining me, my classes can be found on meetup.com under Oakville Creative Escapes, and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, so I would say about 95% of the products I use are from Stampin' Up! I try to use current products, but sometimes I, for my card kits, I do use a retired products because um, my kits are sort of all-inclusive, so all you really have to do is stamp your own sentiments, and then... Um, and uh, provide your own adhesive and everything else is uh pre-cut uh pre-scored uh for you uh so let's get started this is a cute little shaker card that i made and if you know me you've seen i do a lot of shaker cards because i love shaker cards and they really are not difficult to make and they're just so much fun Okay, so let's get started. So with the kit, I'm going to put this one over to the side. You can still see it, but it's not in the way. Okay, so let's get started. So the kit comes with everything. The strips might, the DSP strips might be slightly different than my sample, but it's all from uh, Celebration, uh, Rainbows and Sunshine, and uh, Marvelous. Uh, and DSP so you can score those for free with any um, with any $60 purchase okay so we're gonna start we have our card base a regular size card base these strips are three quarter by four inches and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the, the first one and we're gonna just put one down right down the middle that way we sort of know where to build it from, um, where to build the rest of the card. And again, it doesn't have to be perfectly centered because this card, I did it so that if your strips are not centered or straight, it doesn't matter. That's part of, uh, part of um, why the card is so awesome because you don't have to worry about uh, keeping everything straight. So we're going to lay our strips down. This one's going to be a little crooked. And now I'm going to put this one on the end. Again, with your DSP strips, you can uh, look on both sides of your, your paper and sort of decide which, uh, which side you want to use. The other side here is a lot darker. So if you wanted a darker look, um, then you can pick the, the darker one. And again, my, the strips that you see, they might not be exactly the same, but all the strips were cut from Rainbows and Sunshine DSP and The Marvelous. So it might be slightly different. It's not going to make a huge difference in the overall look of your card. So I think we're going to do this one right on here. So now we have the base of our card finished. So you need just five strips of, of DSP. Again, it's three quarters by four inches. So you have a, a sheet of um, DSP that is 12 by 12. You just cut a three quarter inch piece uh, off the side and then you have four four pieces right there or sorry you have three pieces right there okay next what we're going to do is we are going to take our little heart frame here and we're just going to I use I like using Tombow glue so I'm going to use Tombow glue now this heart die is um, retired 
It was from the meant to be um, Valentine's bundle from last year. And then we're gonna take our window sheet. If you have dryer sheets, I don't, we don't use dryer sheets at our house, but if you had dryer sheets, you can sort of wipe the, the front and back of the, uh, and the window sheet to take off any lint or there's a track that's like crazy. Okay. So let that dry off just a little bit and move that to the side. Next, we're going to find, we're going to look for a stamp that has a happy on it. Um, and I don't know that I have one. Let's see. We can use this. We'll use the happy, you make me happy from Rainbow of Happiness. So that's what we're going to use. And you'll find you have you probably have lots of stamps that that have the sentiment happy. You just have to look for a happy birthday. Um, so happy for you. Um, you'll find there's there's happy Mother's Day. So we're just gonna stamp the happy. And I'm gonna do this in black. I'm not really sure when my kids are come, gonna come back from school here. I'm not really sure. So I'm gonna try and do this. That was just really messy. I'm not sure why. Okay, let's do this again. better. So I'm going to let that dry. Again, I used the, I didn't, I'm not sure if I mentioned, I used the Memento black ink. So we're just going to trim this out. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect in any way. If you have one of those, Scan and cut machines and you can cut it out perfectly oh my gosh that's what I need to get once the border is I need to have one of those for my house and we'll okay so there's our happy and by now, this should be dry enough that we can trim it out. Oh, I see something stuck on the window sheet. Okay, so now we're just going to take scissors and we're just going to trim around the edge. And again, it's a window sheet, so it's see-through, so it doesn't have to be completely perfect. Nobody's really going to see it. But you have the white frame as your guide, so just cut around it. I don't know if cutting a window sheet with scissors is going to get this very material. So if you have another pair of scissors that you can use, Okay, so we've cut out our piece here. Next, we're gonna take Tombow glue and we're gonna put it on the back of this. This is the rose gold, um, it's not glimmer paper, but it was the, it's the special glimmer paper. It comes in a six by six size and you get the rose gold and then you get the gold. So we're just going to put some Tombow glue on the back of this. And 
and then we're just going to lay it across. And this is going to be a little bit longer than your heart, so don't worry about it. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. And then we're going to put some, some Tombow glue on the top of this, and we're going to drop it down as well on top of that window sheet carefully making sure we don't okay so next next step we are going to put this aside to dry off a little bit now we're going to take our heart and we're going to just put some adhesive on the back of this heart and we're just going to glue it down so there we go we've stuck that down next we're going to take our little uh, shaker uh, baggy hair and we are gonna pour it on to our card don't worry if your little shaker pieces are slightly different than mine um, I was just using some retired stampin up stuff just to use it up so We have all our pieces. Make sure all your little shaker pieces are on the on the white heart, because you, if you um, if the pieces sort of get outside of it when you put down your um, foam tape, it's it might leave a gap, and then your shaker stuff is gonna fall out. I know, because I've made a lot of shaker cards, so I've sort of know what to be aware of okay so we're gonna put all our pieces in the middle sometimes i even use something to to put on the corner of my card we'll use a stamp block just to keep the um the card nice and flat and that way it's not curled and it makes it easier for you to put down your piece once you're ready to put down your piece this is the trickiest part but it's not even that tricky so we're going to use this um foam adhesive strips from stampin up and it comes in a package with two of these and it comes with these long strips and what we're going to do is we're going to just start over here. We're going to pull off one entire strip off. I don't know if there's anything, any alternative out there that's similar to, to these strips. There must be, I assume. Um, but these are stamping up. So we're going to take one strip and I'm going to start on the top here of my heart. And what I do is I just sort of bend it ever so slightly as I go around the edge. And just sort of follow the shape of the heart as you lay it down. And then, of course, the bottom part is going to be the most tricky here. At the bottom, that's when I go and cut it. And then I start uh, from the top again. Because the top part is uh, where you where you do the little um, corner is the, the trickiest part. So we're going to do that. Bring it around. One strip is almost enough, 
to make the entire um, perimeter of this of this heart. Yeah, you gotta make sure that there are no gaps, like absolutely no gaps in between. So when you have to use a second piece, So when you have to use a second piece, you need to make sure that it is like really close and that there is absolutely no gap whatsoever in between those two pieces when you put it in. And I like to give it a little press. And then we're going to remove the backing to our foam tape here. And then this is the important part. Make sure again that all your little shaker pieces are in the center and that there's nothing that sticks outside of that white heart. So it looks like I sort of got some ink on the corner. And then just lay it down. Now you can see how sort of staticky mine was. Uh, some of the pieces started sticking to the plastic before I even got it down. We're going to give it a nice press so that we can make sure it stays down. And then give it a little shake. Sometimes there's pieces that like to sort of stick in the corner, but I think if you shake it hard enough, they usually come out of the corner. And then we're going to take our little rhinestone here. This is the from the new catalog, this little rhinestone. It's like a, the polished, I think it's, I can't remember what it's called, but it's the... Uh, shiny comes with a shiny uh, like tool and we're gonna put it in there at our bow right there add our little embellishment and there is our shaker card all done and I just wanted to show you what uh, what I did with uh, I just changed up the DSP um, so I changed up the DSP and then I changed the um, the happy I changed the color of the Valentine's I the pink doesn't really pop as much but this is the ribbon I didn't have any um, purple ribbon so this is the one that So here is another version. I tried using the gold. I really tried quite a few things. Um, and then this one doesn't have the ribbon, but it has this, uh, these gold hearts in the back. And again, I use the same DSP for that's in the mini catalog. And then the last one, so the happy for this one came from Carmen Camellia, um, they, the hostess um, set for celebration. This one came from this one that we just made and that's from Rainbows of Happiness. And then this happy came from Timeless Tulips. And this time I went and sort of doubled up my my ribbon, I did sort of the purple and the pink. Um, and again, the Valentine's doesn't pop as much, but I also did some um, in a red foil that really popped and I don't have those, but if you go onto my Facebook page, you, you can see them there.
So thanks again for joining me. I hope you like these shaker cards. I absolutely love doing shaker cards. And they're just so easy and they're so fun. So there you go. Happy, happy Monday. We have one more card to go. This one has like a watercolor background. So stay tuned.